number one of the day. Thankfully in our favour this time, rarely happens. My angel doing a sterling job too. Quite a bit of water in the bottom of the reservoir just from the rain that we've been having. They pump it out actually, uh, just outside. As we exit this lock, you, uh, you'll see where the water from the reservoir gets pumped out. While I think the contractor's Kia, and they were paid six or being paid 6.2 million pounds to uh, fix this reservoir. They're knocking six feet off the top of it, off the height of it, to reduce its capacity. Something to do with structural integrity. It's taking them a while though. We've got a bit of teamwork going on, so as Sue was closing the lock gates behind, I drove straight into this lock here, uh, got off Josh, closed the gate on my side, waited for her to come and close the gate on the other side, and then I started letting the water out in the uh, the front. So we'll save it. We're saving some time and hassle, and she's having to do less mileage walking, walking around. So good, good bit of teamwork. It all helps. why you've got to keep your wits about you to make sure all that stuff doesn't go into the uh, engine bay. Now then, look at all that pouring in. Jeez. Jeez. Glad we don't have a, large, a longer boat. Right, so doesn't that look innocuous? What could possibly go wrong here? Well, a few months ago, I had some family over from Aust uh, Australia, America, showing them how boats work and locks. Got into this lock and found uh, Josh started uh, keeling over. Must have had 30 degree angle on him. And his rubbing strakes got stuck. On that shelf there. So as the water drains, Josh didn't go down with the water, he clung in the lock on his rubbing strakes against that, uh, that small shelf. We've since found it's a bit infamous, but if you know these locks very well, you know it's there. To give you an idea um, of just how scary that was to see Josh, so I, I, I started standing on the stern side of the boat, on the starboard side, to try and weigh him down on that side as he tipped over not that my weight was enough to to do much so i had to jump off scream to the uh, the americans at the front to sort of stop letting the water out ran over closed those paddles ran to the back and started letting water back in um afterwards we looked in the galley and all of the kitchen cupboards on the starboard side were empty we had that much of an angle that everything on the right hand side of the boat in the kitchen cupboards had fallen out and spilled out all over the floor. We're seconds away from a disaster. Just shows you can't be complacent. So I'm not getting, hence uh, Sue's done both gates in this lock. I haven't got off to do uh, to do one side just in case. The ledge of doom. <laughs> the ledge of doom. <laughs> it doesn't look much, does it? But we know we know it's enough to hang a 15 ton boat from don't we <laughs> why, why are these squares here somebody somebody must know why are these squares indented into the uh some of the i 
How cool is that? My angel. Two very contrasting bridges. This uh, very pretty original bridge. Followed by the M65 motorway. Right, that's lock six done, and it's only just after ten. We're doing really well on time. who's uh, helping uh, narrowboat Churchill, he's about to go up. Very pretty boat, this one. Safe travels. Right, my angel has knowledge. Oh yes. <laughs> On lock timings. Lock timings, I said, uh, We'll have to see if we've got some lock timings. We did um, We did really well until that last lock. We did six in just over an hour. Having said that, they were all in our favour and some of the gates were actually even open. <laughs> so it wasn't, we'll take it, we'll it take wasn't it. too strenuous. But that last lock just wasn't plain, was it? No. I don't, I don't really know what was wrong. No, I... No. It just it took ages to build, but the paddles were all closed. So I couldn't work out where... Anyway. We're through, seven locks down. Seven locks down. 22.11. We haven't told anyone what we're doing yet. We're not 100% sure ourselves, are we? We're just sort of boosting it that way. Yeah. So we've been, um, we've been at Barraford now for a while. Um, Wigan, the Wigan lock closure, which I think we first mentioned in episode 10, Five, one oh five. <laughs> Think quickly. Um, has been sorted. We found a three meter deep sinkhole. The CRT have filled it with two hundred tons of clay. Um, where does all the money go? People ask. So that Wigan locks are open. That means that we could do the Anderton boat. Load. Well, don't get excited. Just in case something happens. Right. Well, in theory, it we could broke do... last summer, did it not? It did. It did, so. leaving quite a few people stranded. 40 boats, I think. I know what you'll be like if, yeah. if you uh, if you look forward to it too much and can't do it. So that's our plan. It's basically to uh, to to go and do the River Weaver boat lift and then just see one see where we are. Yeah, we're not, we're not making plans beyond that yet. Because yeah. each time we make plans, we have to change them. Um, anyway, I think it's tea time. Let's do it. Where we have it. Oh, what would you like? You like? Nice choice. You know what there is? There are quite a few different options. I'm going to go with ginger and lemon, please, because I do like a bit of ginger. You can't say that. I like lemon. Can I say that? <laughs> Conservatory. Is that conservatory? Some orangery? I don't know. I see that. Ooh, my angel's doing a blind corner. Just. <laughs> I can't see with my glasses on. Don't turn in any more right than you are. 
Just uh, go down to tick over. Okay. Just get ready to do one big swing, yeah? Huh? Just get ready to do one big swing. So start it now. Big swing. He's not turning, put some power on. Backwards. Backwards. <laughs> 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 See, this is nice, lovely. ones. Oh, that shows you some of the garbage that ends up in the canal. Isn't it? Uh, we appear to be going a little bit slowly, don't we? So I feel the um, pull of the uh, tiller as well. I think he needs another blast, don't you? Mm -hmm. Shall I do that? Yes, that's good. Yeah, so you can see a trail of stuff there, can't you? So, by way of example, that's what I've just fished off the back of uh, Josh's rudder. Uh, I was driving along, so went down with a little hip -up. And it is, uh, it's really stringy stuff, is that? So it's no wonder boats struggle and have got that garbage and there's just so much of it so it's just going to be a feature of the day. You could go down the reef on the for five minutes but you get nowhere. So litter picker and blast in reverse is the answer. Alright sometimes there's just no, uh, no other way than getting down the what a lava! Stop number one. Stop number one. So we stopped under a bridge so that Sue's got hard standing because it's all just banking that you could uh, easily fall in. And it's quiet today, so. Right, let's go and get the weed hatch back on and get cracking. <sighs> right, dear, hop aboard. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> This here is uh, really marina, so this is where we spent uh, quite some time over the winter, uh, refurbishing narrowboat Josh, getting him ready to cruise again. Yeah, we enjoyed our stay. How are we doing? <laughs> That's great, yeah, well, indeed. Are you enjoying your lunch? It's fabulous. What have you got? I have um, ham. Can we look? It's really nice. It's unsmoked, which I wouldn't normally go for. I like smoked stuff, so um, eggs. Oh, look at his little face when he's <laughs> um, Some potatoes I've, I've had, and some peas, which uh, some lovely subscribers of ours gave us. So thank you to uh, Keith and Lou, um, both amazing. Um, Keith and Lou are both amazing. The potatoes the and the peas. <laughs> <laughs> well, they are, of course. <laughs> absolutely, absolutely. Can we look? Can we oh, look? Yeah, yeah, Can look? yeah, yeah. Look at that. It's a bit unorthodox. Yeah, super tasty. And some marinade as well. Right, it was about 10 minutes ago a lady said uh, watch out there's some vegetation across the canal at bridge 130. This very helpful chap on the boat behind, I think he, it was called Blue Savannah, just said to us that um, it's actually um, artificial grass spread across the canal so 
We're going to have to be careful. Sue says that um, on the map there are many bridge 130s. <laughs> several. I, I found actual 130 now, but oh, it goes okay. up to eight. Right. So we're going to have to go very carefully when we get there and um, apparently he's reported it to the CRT, but he's done his weed hatch. Mm. Right. Anyway, we're entering Burnley. Not nice, nice, nice. Look at the state of that. How horrible is that? It's got to be there to blow there, hasn't it? I suppose some can come out of uh, beans and whatever, but there's an awful lot of it out here. All that cans on the top on there. I mean, they haven't blown there, have they? Right, so uh, really enjoying Burnley at the minute. Highly recommend it. Um, this is, um, it's not just Burnley, though, is it? So that's that's two. That's the second trip. Then we've got sheets of ply. And then and then inexplicably some youth carrying a football. Surprise, surprise. Oh look, there's a shopping uh, sh shopping basket there. Has just shouted something incomprehensible. I don't think it was. But we've got the tone, didn't we? Complimentary, was it? From from the bridge walking over, it's just like all this that people are just thrown in. Yeah. Like drawers and everything in there. Fence bobbing down. Shopping, shopping trolley, trolley, shopping basket, football, 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 bike. It is bad. I mean, you get bits where you know you get some rubbish blows in, but look, this is just ridiculous. This has all blown in, has it? And shopping trolleys don't tend to blow into canals, do they? Oh, you're not happy, are you? You're not happy. No, there's just no need, is there? I, you know, you. Anyway, the good news is, I know you're not happy, but you have still got an egg left. I did save myself an egg. I said save an egg as a treat when you've done the weed. Yeah. <laughs> so your egg now. Thank you. And that won't put a smell back on your face. It will. I like eggs sure what this is unidentified object is it a punch bag or something Still got a bit to go, to be honest. Oh, so slowly again. Oh, another wee patch trip. Third trip down the uh, the weed hatch completed. Angel pushes us off. As you can see, the bucket is rather filling up, isn't it? And we've had this, which I've had to cut off with some snips. And he's not even got any eggs left. So, for all of the messing down the weed hatch, we're still not at Bridge 130. <laughs> with the artificial grass supposedly so looks like Burnley will have yet more delights to throw at us the unmistakable soundtrack of Chavdom 
Right, so this boat uh, had an island that we're going to have a head to head crash, but neither of us will want to be in the, uh, the weed at the side, so it'll be a last minute dart to um, minimise the amount of time we spend in the so, garbage. I just heard the word crash and run inside. <laughs> <laughs> I don't really know why. Oh, thanks, dear. I'm saying we're just going to go head to head. Chicken. Is this the mile? This is the mile. Why is this a thing then? Just because it's high up? Uh, yeah, they built a dead straight, well, a straight piece of canal, 60, 60 feet above all the chimney pots in Burnley. Um, no, that's pretty cool, isn't it? So. So this crane here used to swing a, uh, a large stop gate effectively to stop um, flooding. So they could close off each side of this, uh, each side of the canal here. You can see the notches in the floor. One on each side. Oh, yeah. So that would just sort of swing the, uh, swing the gate and then into this notch. a lot of water in a, in a canal pound this lock. That's true. Your next lock is... It's Blackburn. And the lock behind the Sparrow Fort. Gosh, imagine how much water's in this pound. Yeah. <laughs> wow. Much us. What's going on here then? Oh, building that about. Uh, how many people are working? One, two, three. Did we just go over? I don't know, a piece of burning. That clock tower looks nice in the distance. <laughs> Clutching its doors, that church up there looks nice. Yeah. <laughs> Those hills are about 10 miles in there. Yeah, exactly, yeah, over near like Cliverger nice. or wherever, yeah, yeah. Chimney, oh, repetition yeah, of that, chimney pots, that's yeah, quite nice. Yeah, that, that is quite small. Yeah, what's the... Uh... I quite like seeing the old chimneys as well. When was the last time you saw a house boarded up? Yeah. Mm. Not recently. No. Uh, this bit, um, You're right, Tommy. Oh, <laughs> hello. <laughs> this bit that we're coming up to now is, uh, I think it's called Finsley Wharf. Uh, oh look, um, sorry, look in a sec. And um, this is uh, th this is nice actually. We've never stopped here, but people who have have spoken very highly of it. So anyway, the um, I've just spotted the front end of the uh, broads uh, the broads boat that uh, I held down the locks. You think you'll remember you? Not with my hat on. Take your hat off. What's his name? Mark. Thank you for the beer, Mark. Right, right. don't laugh, don't laugh, don't laugh. <sighs> Guess what came out of the prop? We should have a competition. <laughs> <laughs> There's Mark's fabulous uh, Broads, Norfolk Broads boat. This all looks very nice, doesn't it? Lovely, lovely, lovely. However, this is what I've just fished out of the prop. <laughs> There's no body. You've got to laugh at me. <laughs> Just the clothing. So it's a pair of size 16 leggings made in Bangladesh, of course they are. Look at that. So that was wrapped around our prop. What a full set of leggings. Unfortunately they're not my size because they look alright. So I presume <laughs> she's walking down the canal, she decides that she's oh, going for a swim. <laughs> she decides she doesn't need her leggings anymore, so maybe they so. got in a bush. Removed for... 
some purpose and then she's gone oh forget it i'm not gonna put those <laughs> back on i'm just gonna walk down the walk down the towpath in my pants <laughs> god sake this place is that a nice cardigan to go with the leggings over there <laughs> It's a cardigan. I, I'm going to have a full outfit by the time we're <laughs>